centrifugal force. As your vehicle moves in the direction of a curve, your body wants to go straight. This force increases with speed and the degree of the curve. This is called centrifugal force. Centrifugal force tends to push a vehicle out of a curve or turn it into a straight path. In order to maintain control on curves, you must use your vehicle's controls to overcome the effects of inertia. Gravity and friction must be strong enough to overcome centrifugal force and keep the car on the curving or turning path. The more energy of motion a car develops, that is, the faster it is moving, the stronger its inertia. Therefore, the higher your car's speed, the more it resists being turned from a straight path. In addition to vehicle speed, there are other factors that affect the control you have over your car on a curve. One is the sharpness of the curve. The sharper the curve, the more difficult it is to overcome the car's inertia. Sharp curves require lower speeds. The slope of the road also affects how a car handles on a curve and how difficult it is to overcome centrifugal force. On a banked curve, the road is built up on the outside edge and slopes down towards the inside of the curve. The downward slope reduces the car's tendency to slide toward the outside of the curve. On a crowned road, the middle is built up higher than the sides. The road slopes down from the middle to each side. A car is more likely to pull towards the outsides of a crowned road. The inside of a crowned curve, however, is almost the same as a banked curve. A flat road has no slope at all, not even on curves. Therefore, the shape of such a road is of no help in resisting centrifugal force. You should reduce your speed significantly before entering a curve on a completely flat road. There may be an advisory speed sign posted to let you know what speed is considered safe for taking the curve. You should always obey these speed limits. Vehicle weight also affects your ability to control a car on a curve. Added cargo can increase a vehicle's energy of motion or change its center of gravity. A heavily loaded car is harder to control on curves. Therefore, reduce your speed on curves even more than usual when your car is heavily loaded.